In this video, I'm going to show you a different way of using the ITUS complement notation. Depending on which method makes more sense, which method is easier for you, you've got the choice. Doesn't matter which method you use. So just to recap, why we're doing the two's complement notation, that this is one way to represent negative numbers in the binary number system. And again to recap, if the number starts with a zero in the two's complement notation, then we know that this is a positive number, and if a number starts with a one, we know that this is a negative number. So the first digit in the two's complement notation is used for the sign bit. Therefore, there is a limitation, so depending on how many bits you're using for this complement notation, we can only use one less bit for building the actual numbers. So again, just to recap, uh, in case you haven't seen the previous video, uh, every single number in the two's complement notation have to be used at a fixed length. So you can't talk about just generally the two's complement notation. You always have to say what length of bits you're talking about. So you can talk about the four bits two's complement, you can talk about the seven bits two's complement, or you can talk about the 22 bits two's complement. But you always have to give whoever reads the numbers the length, the fixed length of the numbers. Otherwise, the two's complement notation uh, doesn't necessarily work. So. This second method is slightly different from the previous one, but the answers will be the same. So in the previous method, we converted and then we done a kind of inversion process. In this method, we also using something similar. So step one, again, will be to convert into binary. But then step two would be just a simple inversion. So we don't have to do anything like copying bits or whatever, we just invert all of the digit. But then comes a next step, and that is add one. And I'm gonna show you why this is working and how uh, we can do this, but let's look at an exact example. So what would be negative four in four bits two's complement? Okay, so step one, convert. So again, we're using four bits, one, two, four, eight, and four is just one, zero, zero. And don't forget, we need the zero first here. Okay, then step two is the invert. So what happens here then, everywhere I have got a zero, I turn it into a one, and everywhere when I have a one, I turn it into a zero. So zero become one, and one becomes zero. And then comes the extra step, is the adding one. So one, one plus one makes zero, carry the one, one plus one makes zero, carry the one, one plus zero makes one, and one plus nothing keeps one. So minus four is the same as one, one, zero, zero in four bits to complement. So let's look at minus six, and again, convert it using the four bits to complement. So step one, convert. So four bits, I'm using one, two, four and eight and I know that the six I will the negative six I will be able to show because it's less than eight. So six is four plus two and again I need the rest of the zeros and I need the zero here as well because I'm talking about four bits to complement. Then step two invert. So zeros becomes ones and ones become zero. And then the last step is plus one. So one comes here, and I just need to add them together. One plus one makes zero, carry the one. One plus zero makes one. Zero plus nothing is zero. One plus nothing is one. So minus six is the same as one, zero, one, zero in four bits to complement. Now, 
don't forget that this is not the same as 1010 just as an ordinary binary number. So if you just look at this, from context, it needs to be cleared if it's a complement notation or if it's just ordinary binary notation because depending on the difference between complements and ordinary numbers, when you're trying to convert it back into to find out the decimal equivalent, you would do different processes. Let's look at another example. So what is 7 in 5 bits 2's complement notation? So 7, 5 bits 2's complement. Now, this is a positive number. So when it's a positive number, I don't need to do the inversion process. So again, just like in the previous video, positive numbers are the easy examples because all we need to do is just step 1, the conversion. So the place values again, we're using now 5 bits. So make sure that you are using all the 5 bits. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. That's all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits. Then which one of these do we need to build 7? Again, 7 is 1 less than 8, so I will need to use every single digit that are less than 8. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 makes 7 altogether. But because it's 5 bits to complement notation, I need to put the zeros in front of it. So positive 7 is the same as 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 in 5 bits to complement notation. Now, how can we do it the other way around? So let's say that you are given a number 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and you are told that this is a 5 bits 2's complement notation number. So how can we find out what number is this one? Now remember that we went from, when we went from decimal to binary we've done the conversion, then we've done the inversion and then we've done the add 1. So when you've got the binary equivalent and you want to go back to the decimal then you have to do that step by step going backwards so the step one first here be take away one let's do that now so one zero zero one one i need to take away one one take away one is zero one take away nothing is one zero take away nothing is zero zero take away nothing is zero and one take away zero is one so that is the first stage. Then remember that the middle step was the inversion. So what I need to do now, I need to invert this number. So 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1, 0 becomes 1, and 1 becomes 0. And this is the ordinary binary equivalent of this 5 bits to complement. And now what I can do is do the last step which in this case will be the conversion. So just put the place values on top of the number. 8 plus 4 plus 1. That makes 13. So this number is the equivalent as minus 13. Okay? And we have done this conversion in the previous video. So you can double check there and convince yourself that this is a correct way of doing it. So look at one more example, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is again a 5 bits 2's complement notation. Now again, this is a positive number because it starts with 0. So therefore, this number has not gone through the inversion and adding 1 process. So when I see a number like this, I know it's going to be an easy calculation because all I need to do is just one step and that is the conversion. So how do I convert this number back to ordinary binary? Let's just copy this one down here again. And the easiest and quickest way, at least for me, is to put the place values on top and then just add those numbers together. So 8 plus 2 plus 1 makes 11. So this number is positive 11. So let's look at a couple of 8 bits to complement examples because that is quite widely used. So how could we represent minus 94 in 8 bits to complement? 
So remember, step one, because it's a negative number, I need to go through all three steps. Step one will be conversion. So eight bits, one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different bits to represent my number. So I need to build up 94. So 64 I'm going to use, and the difference between 94 and 64, it's a handy 30. So the next step is how can I build up 30 from the rest of the digits? Now, 32 is too big because I only need 30, so the next biggest place where I can use is 16. So take 16 away from this, and the remainder is 14. I can take 8 from the 14, the remainder is 6, and 6 is 4 plus 2. Even number, so I'm expecting the last bit to be 0, and it is, because I'm not using the 1. And again, don't forget that you always need to make sure that if there are empty spaces, before your number, you need to fill that in with zeros to make sure that your number is 8 bits long. Okay, so that was first step. The step 2 then was the inversion. So what we need to do now, invert every single bit to the opposite. So 0 become 1, 1 become 0. So 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, and 0 becomes 1. This is the inverted number, but what happens now is I need to add 1. Okay, so let's just copy the number down here again and add 1 to it. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And from here on, I don't need to add anything, so I can just copy them. So the 8 bits to is binary equivalent of minus 94 is this number. Now, you might ask yourself a question that, you know, when I'm adding binary numbers together, sometimes I do have to do loads of carrying. And what happens if I carry this number over? So what happens if I needed to add one to it and then I need to carry it? Well, that extra bit here would be called the overflow. And what the computer does is just simply ignores it. So if after the addition you end up with a 9 bits long number, all you need to do is ignore the first bit and your answer will be just that 8 bit. I hope that you now understand how the two's complement notation works and I encourage you to try out the practice questions that will follow and you can check your work by looking at the answers. For this video, we will have two sets of questions. Here are the first set. This is the answer to the first set. Here is the second set. And here are the answers to the second set.